Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Ditsy Bars. So, this was a recommended video, Ditsy Bar, but I want to show you how they come. Now, the reason the package has already been opened is because we had no idea that this was actually from Ditsy Bar. But, uh, I've honestly, I've never ordered from a company that put it in a... Um, Regular postal bag. Right. So, this was different for me. So, when you take it out of the postal bag, it, ha it comes in these boxes. I guess it depends on how many you order to. Um, and then it has a name on it, and it says Fort Worth, Texas. Yeah, but it doesn't actually say Ditsy Bar anymore. It does not say Ditsy Bar on it. So these, it says, uh, thank you for your order, Ditsy Bar, ways to enjoy. Um, eat immediately, microwave 20 or 30 seconds, reheat in the oven at 350 for two to three minutes, or freeze for later. Friendly reminder, cookies may be extra gooey due to heat exposure. Keep them in the box they arrive in and place in the fridge freezer until they firm up. So, I ordered five uh, items from Ditsy Bar. Wow. Okay, let me just say that I honestly did not know what to expect when I placed my order because... Wow. Okay. Big. Online, I'm just going to be completely honest. Online, they look really small. They look like little tarts or something. Well, there's nothing to compare them to. No. So, I could not tell, honestly, how big these were. Well, let me take it out. Um, oh, my gosh. I literally had no idea that they were this big. I mean, I was hoping they were this big because of the money we paid. They probably bake those in a pan. I was hoping they... Does that have a they, paper on the bottom? Yeah, it has a paper. Yeah. I was hoping they were this big, but literally you cannot tell online. Online, they look like little bitty tarts that are about this big. So, I'm glad they're labeled. This one is the Peanut Brunch and Jelly. This one is the 24 Carat Roll. This is the Chocolate Rainbow Chip. This is the Biscoff Bait. Yes, please, give me some Biscoff. And then this one all by itself is the Gimme Samoa. So they did have other flavors to choose from, and these were just the ones that looked appealing to me. Uh, so um, give me just a minute to clear away these boxes, and then we will show you what they look like outside the packages. So the first one I'm going to open is going to be the Chocolate Rainbow Chip. And on the back, it says contains the following allergens. And so they have circled eggs, soy, milk, and wheat. And I'd say that is what's going to be circled on most of these. I don't think any of these are going to have fish. fish or shellfish. So they could probably eliminate that completely. Well, maybe if they had fish oil or something in there. Hmm. Okay, so... This, I thought it had a paper on it, but you know what? It doesn't. Oh, that's just the pan. I think they, or they made it in a paper, and then maybe they remove it. I don't know. Um, this is really easy to open. This one is called Biscoff Bait. And I like to open these on uh, camera for you so we can show you, like, whoop, don't do that, Tammy. Uh, you could see the the other side. Look, there's uh, like peanuts and stuff in there. Um, but I'll, there we go. Okay, this is the uh, peanut, peanut brunch and jelly. Okay, so just know, be careful when you open it because it might stick. And I don't want to pull any of my... That looks like a Ritz cracker. I don't want to pull any of that off. Okay, so this is how that looks. Okay, and then we have the 24 karat roll. Okay, and these are really soft. I mean, like on the sides, you have to be careful that you don't squeeze it mm, because it good. Um, it's really soft. This last one is the Gimme Samoa. And so what we're going to do, uh, they said that you could heat them up for 25 to 30 seconds in the microwave. We're going to go for... It's 20 to 30. I mean, I'm sorry, 20 to 30 in the microwave. We're going to heat ours for 25. But then we'll come back and we'll divide these in half and show you how they look. 
So this is the Rainbow Chocolate Chip. And it is very, very like ooey gooey. Like, like I can't, runny. like, yeah, it's <laughs> very, very runny. Uh, the second one is the Biscoff Bait, and it just exploded. So, if you do it for 25 seconds in the microwave, it's literally going to um, explode. It's hard to show you um, in between there. Uh, you Good see enough. it right there. Okay, and then number three is the. Peanut brunch and jelly. Ah, and we can show you this one in the center. There we go. That one is more, it looks more cake-like in the center. Number four is the 24 carat. Okay, and that is that one. And then the last one is the uh, Samoa. And that is how that looks. They're all really, really ooey gooey in the center. Okay, so just so you know, I showed you what the packaging looks like. The packaging does not tell you what's in the bar at all. Just so, so if you don't care, that's fine. If you do care about what's in it, then make yourself a little cheat sheet at the same time you order, and then you can refer to your cheat sheet. That's what I have right here is my cheat sheet. So if you want, you can take a bite uh, while I am telling you what's in this first one. Mm, uh, this, where to start? You start wherever you want. Um, rainbow, uh, chocolate rainbow chip. This was $8.75, and I wish I had gotten my receipt. I did not bring my receipt over here. I actually left it. I'll get it once I take a bite. Okay. I actually left it in the, uh, on the counter over there. This was $8.75. The mix-ins are Cosmic Brownies. Okay. The mix-ins are Cosmic Brownies, Soft Baked Chocolate Chip Cookies, Semi-Sweet Chocolate Chips, Milk Chocolate M&Ms, Hot Fudge Sundae, and Pop-Tarts. That's the mix-ins. The middle part is hot fudge sauce. So that's what's oozing out the middle. Mm -hmm. Hot fudge soft sauce wrapped in Pillsbury chocolate chip cookie dough, safe to eat raw. And then it's topped with Hershey's fudge filled chewy chips ahoy, chocolate frosting, drizzle, rainbow, and rainbow chips. Okay. So how and much of not, that do you actually taste? <laughs> you, yeah, if you kind of get some of that chocolate sauce in there too. Um, I think it depends on the bite you get, depends on what flavors you get. Because, yeah, you just gotta go, I mean, it's just like, it looks like a sloppy mess, but it's very good. <laughs> I don't know what these are. I, I wanna take a bite of one of these. It looks like a Pop-Tart. Yeah, that's a Pop-Tart. Uh, it's a hot fudge sundae Pop-Tart. Yeah, this is basically a, a hot fudge sundae and a cookie. Really? Um, so it doesn't have ice cream. It's a or a molten lava cake kind of thing. It's yes. A, it's not chocolate cake. So see, I'm not I'm not getting a good metaphor or good uh, comparison here. It's a very good chocolate chip cookie kind of going on it with this runny, super gooey chocolate in it. It's just mm -hmm. it's just good. It's just chocolate. <laughs> it is literally. Um, it's as if you made a pan of brownies. And you didn't bake them the whole way. Mm -hmm. And then you topped it with a bunch of random stuff. And then you put a bunch of stuff on top of it. <laughs> That's what it's but like, truly, literally. it is, um, so it's like that liquid, gooey, brownie, the batter. It's like brownie batter, mm -hmm. but with different mix-ins. Yeah. But really, you're coming away with chocolate on chocolate on chocolate. Now, if you eat the outside part by kind of by itself, which you can't get anything by itself, but kind of by itself, it's right. a, it tastes like a really good chocolate chip cookie. It. Uh, I was gonna say. So, if when you put it to the middle runny part, it reminds you of brownie. There was when I had a my first bite, it did remind me of a raw chocolate chip cookie mm -hmm. dough. That's yeah. what it tastes like. Yeah, that's kind of what the outside casing is. It's kind of like chocolate chip Yeah, cookie. a chocolate chip cookie dough, and it's delicious. But the best way to eat that is to just, I would take it literally and smash it all together and just eat it. So would you <laughs> microwave it again, or oh, would yes. you eat would... it just straight out of the package? Okay, I like right. it warm too. I really now, do. I mean, you don't have to, but I think it tastes better. I do like it really warm though. Okay, 
Yeah, this one literally fell apart the microwave. Yeah, it's sort of, but now it's firmed up now that it's cool off. That's good. Up. This is the Biscoff Bake. It was $8.50. Mix-ins include cookie butter for the base, honey roasted peanuts, M&M's mm -hmm. &M's minis, vanilla yogurt raisins, marshmallow crispy treat M&M's, Annie's birthday cake grams. The middle, layer one, is cream cheese frosting and cookie butter. Layer two is Pillsbury soft baked confetti cookies. And then it's topped with Pillsbury soft baked confetti cookies, honey roasted peanuts, white fudge pretzels, and rainbow sprinkles. Got a lot going on. Okay. I'm wondering, should I get the edge first? That's what I did at first. I got the edge piece, and then yeah. I got the middle and the edge. <laughs> I mean, really, it's... It's again, it's kind of like you made this, you kind of made this like base and then you've just stuck a bunch of random stuff on top of, it has almost a caramely kind of flavor. It's very good. I don't, I don't get this cough necessarily at all. Um, I didn't either with that first bite. Well, I, I got some of that just right in the middle uh -huh. and I still didn't really get this cough. Just this like frosting part right here, mm -hmm. um, which is good by the way. Mm. Very good. I've just got some of the peanuts. Mm-hmm. The peanuts are really good. Mm-hmm. They're they're sweet. I don't know if this part is either. I mean, you keep wanting to just pick at it. You this do. This is one of those things where you just want to. Ooh, you I want pick that and bite. Pick and pick. Ooh, I want that bite. Right, because <laughs> each bite is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Um, there was something when mm -hmm. I got it on the outside edge. There was something in there that was a little chewy. Mm -hmm. Um, and I don't know what that was. Mm. I, there, there is literally a gold star right there. Oh, yeah, there is a gold star. There is a gold star. Um, you found the gold star, you won a prize. I should win a prize. Um, I bought this because I thought it would taste like Biscoff. Because it's called Biscoff Bake. So, honestly, I really, really thought I would taste the Biscoff. And even though I like it a lot, I think mm. it's a delicious combination of flavors. I do not taste the biscuit. No, I don't either, honestly. At all. It, it tastes more like a like the first one was kind of like not a, enough biscuit in it. Like that was kind of an unbaked chocolate brownie. This one's kind of like a blondie mm -hmm. with stuff on top of it. And it's delicious. It's excellent. But it needed but to have... But if you're looking for Biscoff, it doesn't have... It needed to have crunchy Biscoff, creamy Biscoff, and it needed to have the Biscoff cookies too. Yeah. And... That it, would have made it a Biscoff over. That would have... Been, <laughs> then that would have justified the name. Right. right. now, it has... It's a really good dessert with the wrong name. Right. It just yeah. has the wrong label. I agree. Okay. okay. And the next one is... Peanut. Well, I already like it because it has ribs on it. <laughs> Peanut brunch and jelly. This was eight seventy five. So this was a quarter more than those. Uh, but it seems thicker. It might be. Uh, um, mix ins: maple syrup, Eggo frosted maple pop tarts, strawberry pop tarts, toasty peanut butter sandwich crackers. Peanut butter chips. The middle has strawberry jam, maple peanut butter. And gooey butter cake. No, oh, gooey butter cake. It is topped with peanut butter chips, Ritz crackers, and strawberry jam. Uh, I've been trying to get the edge first mm -hmm. and then to go for the middle. That's what I did too, basically. Um, when you get the peanut butter, it's almost like really thick and makes your mouth stick together. But um, if you eat the center part, it tastes more like those pop tarts with a little bit of syrup in there. Um, the first bite, the outside bite I got, I really tasted the strawberry jelly. Yeah, you get the strawberry. I got really strong peanuts when I when I peanut butter when I ate mine too. Mmm. Oh, I love that middle part. Mm -hmm. I good. love the peanut butter flavor. And you can. What's funny is you taste the syrup, don't you? Like mm, a pancake mm. syrup, that it's a, it's like a pancake syrup. In that mixture of peanut butter and maple syrup. Mm -hmm. Oh, my dad used to eat that all the time. Mm, mm, mm. Remember, I told you, dad used to take a bowl and yeah. take uh, peanut butter and pancake syrup or maple syrup and stir it together and eat it on a Ritz cracker. That's how he ate it. Mm -hmm. That's kind of taking that whole idea and adding a few more things to it. That's one. Mm. 
that but, I could keep eating and eating and eating until I was sick. That is absolutely just, I mean. Um, I think the, the first two are the same one. The first two are the same way, but that one for me, because it has all that peanut butter, is just even better. What's the word, Moorish? It's Moorish. Yeah. That is Moorish. Well, more, more, yeah. More. Uh, that, it's just absolutely sensational. Mm -hmm. um, and it, the first, like I said, the first two were really good, but that for for just for me personally is even. It's better. good. The peanut butter is really, really good, mm -hmm. and, the, and the the jam is really, really mm -hmm. good. And I just see a gooey, big gooey part of peanut butter that you. Just... Oh, yeah, it's full of peanut butter. Okay. And the no. Ritz, by the way, are really good too. Number four, we're back to eight fifty. This one is an eight eight dollars and fifty cents. It's twenty four carat roll mix ins, carrot cake. Carrot cake sandwich cookies, Hostess cinnamon streusel coffee cake, which I love. The Hostess coffee cakes; those are the best coffee mm -hmm. cakes. Really, Hostess mm -hmm. does a good job. Um, lint white chocolate chunks, cream cheese chips, and cinnamon chips. The middle layer has cinnamon toast crunch, creamy cinnamon spread, which you love. Cream cheese frosting mini cinnamon rolls and it's topped with carrot cake sandwich cookies cream cheese frosting drizzle and cinna dust i like the cinna dust too honestly i think i like the outside better than the inside okay let's go for the outside first here we go mm. i love the cinnamon in that because it's not a raw harsh cinnamon it's i mean it, you can tell it's 100 percent cinnamon but it's not that harsh cinnamon it's very sweet mm. Mm, that's good mm -hmm. i like the cinder tart too by the way you know they didn't mention any raisin but something in there maybe it's the carrot in the season tastes like it has a little bit of raisin yeah, i didn't get raisin but i do get the carrot cake flavor. that's what it is it's the carrot cake yeah. it's that carrot cake the carrot combined with the um with the spices the cinnamon mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's what it is and it's coming across as a little raisiny to me yeah i agree no i agree that is nice that it's is very, very nice. nice if you like a carrot cake with those kind of spices and mm -hmm. it's not just cinnamon too i get a little it seems like there's a little nutmeg there maybe a touch of ginger just like you would get in a carrot cake just like a carrot cake yes if you like a traditional carrot cake that really does taste like a carrot cake it's almost, nice almost pumpkin spice like but not quite and it's, it's not uh it's not too harsh on the cinnamon at mm, all just no, like it's very you nice. said yeah mm, okay that's good the last one is give me some more Samoa. Give me Samoa. I, I want good, Samoa. I like a Samoa. Ooh, it's got a Samoa cookie right on top. I can see it. <laughs> I like the coconut cookies. Shortbread cookies folded into the base. Milk chocolate chips, caramel bits, Samoa cookies. Mounds, like literally a mounds candy, candy bar. bar. Shredded coconut. Dulce de leche, coconut buttercream. Milk chocolate chips, Samoa cookies, coconut buttercream drizzle, and shredded coconut. I mean, you really can't even call these cookies for sure. I mean, that's why. No, the these bars. these are yeah. This is that's it, this is a bar. This yeah. isn't a brownie. We you know we've reviewed brownies on the channel. We've reviewed cookies on the channel. These are the bars. Try that. You want me to try that first? Normally, yeah. I go for the outside first. No, try that one first. Okay. He's having me do the ooey gooey center. That's my kind of coconut. You will be so full that you'll be sick when you get done eating. Mm. Uh -huh. I love the coconut in there, and it's it's that one is what I would consider like sugary sweet. It's got like a little you can almost feel the grit of the sugar in there. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. And the coconut's really good too. Very I want to get one of these cookies. Yeah, that's what I got with my first bite. Mmm. Mm -hmm. and they're still they're not crunchy but they're still got a little bit of a chew to them oh my gosh that's very nice mm -hmm. yeah it is so um indulgent so All over the top I mean, yes they are but that one that one seems to be yeah even more um it seems so very very i think honestly that's 
the, the sweetest one here for me. It is. I think it's so, too. It's very, very sweet. That one and the chocolate one's pretty daggone close. And if I'm telling you it's sweet, it is sweet. It's very yeah, that's sweet. That's Mickey T. Hurt. Um, <laughs> that is wonderful. You okay. know why I think it seems indulgent, too? It has a lot of coconut in it. Yes. And coconut's not a standard flavor you get in most, like, um, candy bars or candies and stuff like that. So, it's a little different. And mm -hmm. it's just, it's combined it's, with all this other stuff, too. It's, mm -hmm. like, really... Like over the top. But it's thick mm. and it just tastes, it's it's so sweet and so rich mm. that it's like a, 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 like you're eating a piece of bakery cake, you know? I mean, it's just, it's not that texture, but it's <laughs> that Bakery cake and beyond. That <laughs> indulgent. Yeah. So, this is going to be tough. So, what are they? They were $8 a piece. They were... Some, eight something. Well, what was the total? Some of them were eight fifty. Uh, three of them were eight fifty. Two were eight seventy five. The peanut butter brunch was eight seventy five, and the chocolate rainbow chip was eight seventy five. Oh, oh. Also, the gimme smell was eight seventy five. Okay. So only two of them were eight fifty. The twenty four carat and the biscoff. I'm thinking those might have been smaller though. Maybe. Um, shipping and handling. My total was fifty nine ninety, but th there was sixteen sixty five. In shipping. So basically, just shy of sixty bucks. So my total was fifty nine fifty four five of them. Well, let me just tell you, you're getting your money. Fifty nine ninety. Sorry, I can't talk. That's what I'm saying. My, just, just sixty dollars. My total was fifty nine ninety. Sixty bucks. Yeah. Um, I think you're getting your money's worth. I really do. I do too. You're I mean, getting. Wow. I mean, you see how thick they are and how mm -hmm. big they are, and I'm full. <laughs> oh yeah. And we've just eaten a few bites off yes. each one of them. Although I'm, I will go back and eat that gob of peanut butter. I'm, I'm stuffed. Go ahead, I'll talk if you want to. Um, I'm stuffed. I mean, literally stuffed. But I feel like I've really had um, a very indulgent dessert. Yes. Um, I think you could buy, if you were having a small like dinner party, like with family or friends or whatever, you could buy these and maybe cut them in half. Mm -hmm. And then heat them up. Like don't don't heat them up before you cut them in half. That's the key. Heat them, cut them in half. Put them on separate plates and then heat them up. You can put them all in the, in the oven and heat them up all at one time if you want to. Yeah. Um, and then serve like half of one of these to each person, and they'll. I mean, real, honestly, if I truly divided it mm -hmm. up, I could probably eat a fourth of one of these and be pleasantly happy. Mm -hmm. um, with just a fourth. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean it's. I um, mean you could eat a half, but you'll you you'll be very. I think you'll be full. Yes, overly sick. full. I don't think if you went to somebody's house for dinner and then had this as a dessert, you wouldn't be able to eat half of it. No, after eating not after dinner, dinner, no. Mm -mm. So so even you could even get by with a fourth of mm -hmm. these. Yeah. And um and serve them to people. That would be awesome because think about it, they're eight over almost nine dollars a piece, but you're splitting. them three or four ways. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's bad at all. And these, like I said at the very beginning, it's really deceptive on the website because you can't tell how big they are. Uh, no, and they, this they, is, look, they did look kind of small. Like a tart, they like they look said. small. Yeah, I thought these are going to be small, but I'm going to get them because I had several people recommend Ditsy Bar to me. And so uh, the, this is a regular size dessert plate. And you can see it takes up the whole dessert plate. Yeah, these are not saucers. They're dessert plates. Yes. So, which I think I'm going to surprise you on my favorite. Or are we going back? Well, I have to. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember that one. I know. It's chocolate and chocolate it's and chocolate. It's super chocolate. And, and chocolate chip and more chocolate. <laughs> um, I think my number one is going to be the Samoa one. Mm -hmm. That's sure? fine. <laughs> yeah. The Gimme Samoa. Yeah. You can't beat a good sweet coconut. And that is literally my favorite With chocolate. one here. Um, that one's my number one, but then I think the, the peanut butter one would be my number two. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to pick the chocolate one. No, see, I picked the chocolate probably second to last. Oh, okay. Because I really like the carrot cake. I like the peanut butter one. I think my last one would be the, the Biscoff one. Right. It was excellent. Don't get me wrong. None of these are bad. No. Um, I don't know. That one was just kind of like more like a blondie with stuff on it. I mean, I'm, I'm. You're splitting I'm, hairs. I'm literally splitting hairs because honestly, there are, there's nothing wrong with not mm -hmm. one of these. <laughs> honestly. Yeah. Um, but if you bought one and you like coconut, get that one. Yeah, the coconut one. I, I wonder if these are around all the time. Yeah, I don't know. I tell you what, that lotus. That's that's awfully good. It's good. They're all. It's like just that you're not getting a strong taste of lotus biscoff, mm -hmm. but it still is delicious. That's the one that had the peanuts in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those peanuts are really good. Um. 
I'm going to pick the Samoa for number one. I do think I'm going to pick the chocolate number Chocolate's two. Good. Peanut number three, lotus number four, and carrot number five. I really like the carrot cake flavor. Carrot cake, I like it, but it would be my last place it, because it's not something you want to eat all the time. I don't exactly. I don't crave carrot cake all the time. Right. Cra carrot cake for me is like I have to be in the mood for it. So that's the. It's still good, but that's the only reason I'm putting it in the last place. And you could eat these at room temperature, but I don't. They wouldn't be as soft and. Gooey. I don't know. When I took it out of the package, I had to be They're careful not to squeeze yeah. because it was very very soft. And they got here quickly too. The yep. shipping was was really fast. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will put a link uh, to the website in the description below. We get nothing if you go there. Yep, We're we just sharing. Yeah, and, paid yep. for with our own money. Yep. Uh, just trying to to share another uh, growing company uh, mm -hmm. with you. Uh, and they did have more to choose from. Oh, yeah. So there were certain flavors that they had that that just weren't to my. Uh, uh, pet of my liking so uh, uh, they do have other flavors these are just the five that I was the most interested mm -hmm. in and if the company's watching I recommend you get a sticker with your your blue logo and oh. stick it on the boxes and stuff yes yes Kevin's talking about there there's a logo here that says ditzy bar yeah, it's, a, it's a perfect circle for a sticker he thinks that the, the, uh, the actual shipping box so like when we got it on the front porch it had the person's name on it that makes these. Which it is fine. Which is fine. But nowhere on it did it say Ditsy Bar. And Kevin's thinking, that's free advertising for you. If the, the postal person sees that on the box or whoever's handling that box, they're seeing your name, Ditsy Bar, on there. And they're probably going to get curious and go look yeah, it up. Yeah, just stick so, stickers all over everything. Yeah, so I think he's <laughs> right. Cheap. Yeah, get you some stickers and yeah. do it. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching.